Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer, and I've got my kite crazy high in the air right now. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm here on Fire Island in New York today and I'm going to be flying my levitation delta kite up super high in the sky because I need to straighten out some of the line on the reel. I also just replaced the stock fiberglass frame of the kite with some new carbon fiber kite spars. And these new carbon fiber kite spars are significantly lighter than the stock frame that comes with the kite so I'm hoping that the lighter frame gives it some added lift for light winds and also the carbon fiber should be stronger than the fiberglass I hope because I've heard some horror stories about some kite flyers who have had the stock fiberglass spreader break while they're flying their kite and then the kite crashes. Hopefully the carbon fiber frame is a bit stronger than the fiberglass one but I want to test it out before I go putting my expensive camera on the kite so that's what I'm here to do today. So I've got the kite a fair amount in the sky right now. This is my usual kite aerial photography rig that usually carries my Sony a7R4, but I've got it hooked up today to carry the GoPro and uh, put that on the line, lift that up and get some video from the GoPro while the kite is super high in the air. As you can see, the kite is just a teeny tiny little speck up in the sky. It's so high right now. I really wonder how far you can see with the GoPro all the way up there on the kite. If you look here, you can see some buildings all the way along the horizon. They're probably in New York City, which is about 35 miles away from here. The math on that checks out because I estimate the camera to be about 800 feet in the air because I have a thousand feet of kite line out. At 800 feet in the air, you should be able to see just over 30 miles, and with the tall buildings, it's not unfathomable that you'd be able to see them all the way in New York City. It's flying super steady and really well in the air, and this is really ideal for kite aerial photography or video, because stability is super important, especially when trying to take still images. after I turned off the cameras I put the kite up uh, pretty low for one final time just to fly for a few minutes recreationally and wouldn't you know it the uh, spar broke on the uh, kite the brand new carbon fiber spar as you can see right at the end here kind of splintered apart and then the kite fell out of the sky thankfully I didn't have any of my uh, camera equipment on the kite at the time I'd rather have it break under a condition like this than when I have my really expensive Sony camera on the kite. So a real bummer that the carbon fiber frame that I was hoping to avoid any breakage with uh, broke on the very first time I flew it. 